hey guys welcome back to my channel on my channel i do home decoration and lifestyle content if you're interested to see more of that feel free to subscribe to my channel um so on today's video i'm going to do my kitchen backsplash so i'm gonna be applying the peel and stick tile uh, this video is sponsored by kamami decor um, where they sell peel and stick backsplash and also 3d wall decor tile and much more items i'll also leave the discount link in the description box uh, down below which is going to be tr10 where you guys can get 10 percent off so right here what i'm doing i'm just currently wiping the walls and as you can see uh, this kamami tile it is the white hexagon tile which it comes with 10 sheets inside each pack which is a 12 by 12 inches just showing you guys what you're going to need right here which is a scissors uh, the smoother i'm going to need a screwdriver and then you're also going to need a knife or a scissors as well So right here, I'm just showing you guys the size, which as I said, it's a 12 by 12 inches. And honestly, with this space, I just use the entire pack, which is like 10 sheets. Um, so right here, I'm just removing the socket cover, you know, so that I'll be able to place the tile properly. Applying a peel and stick tile, to me, the most important thing is measurement. You always want to make sure you measure ahead so that you don't use too much tile. So right here, I'm just using a marker, which you're going to need a marker that's very important, or a pen, or something to mark the tile to know where you need to cut. So I'm just measuring um, the socket right here. I want to know where exactly I need to cut. So that is what I'm currently doing. Um, as I said, measuring is very very important I'm not using any ruler or any measurement I'm just you know marking it and that's all you need I'm not sure if you guys can see but I'm just showing you where I currently mark the tile and as you can see I'm just gonna cut it exactly where I marked it So as you can see, it cut perfectly. And that's why I said measurement is very important where you need to measure ahead. So as you can see, it measured up perfectly. So right here, I'm just going to use the smoother and I'm just peeling off the the back of the peel and stick tile you want to take your time um what i do i just normally peel the top first and then once i stick the top of the tile on the backsplash then i just slowly remove the the back part so that is what i'm currently doing here i'm just sticking the top of the tile and slowly removing the back and then i'm going to use my smoother to make sure everything is smooth and there's no lump in the tile Just look at that, it looks so pretty. I'm so in love with it and it looks so real, you guys. I'm not sure if you guys can tell, but it looks so real. So right here, I'm just measuring the, um, the bottom part of the backsplash right here. So the main thing that you want to do is start from top to bottom that's easier for me and i i think that's the easier way where you always start from the top to the bottom so i'm going to be doing the top part of the backsplash and then the bottom part so right here i'm just cutting out the bottom part and then i'm going to also um cut another one because whenever i measure one i normally just cut the other one with the same size as you can see it cut perfectly so that is what i'm currently doing here Thank you. 
so right here as I said before I'm just doing the measurement ahead of time and cutting as I go along so you're just gonna do the same thing measure cut and then paste so that is what I'm currently doing and as I said you always want to start from the top you um, stick it and then you slowly remove the back part of the tile so that is what I'm currently doing it's it's easy actually um, so far based on what I'm seeing uh, from Kamami decor peel and stick tile it looks very durable like it has good quality um, so far it's easy installation and it's also water resistance um, heat resistance it's eco-friendly and it's also um, an affordable price and they have various designs okay so as i said i'm just measuring and then sticking the tile on the backsplash Right here was the most challenging part because it's behind the stove and I decided that I'm not going to push the stove forward. So I had to cut it short and then uh, apply it behind the stove. It was just giving me a little bit of issue, but at the end of it, I got it. Um, but that was like a little challenging for me. But other than that, it came out perfectly. So right here is the last step over this side which as you can see I'm just measuring make sure it's correct mark it with my pen and then I'm going to use the knife because I don't have like a cutter so I'm using the knife to mark it like as a line so that I'll be able to cut it correctly there is only one of you only one of me there's a million of those who won't let us be But they're not gonna, not gonna see me bleed Cause baby, I got you, 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 you I've been beaten to the ground, dragged across the dirt I've been scared to live cause some people never learn But they're not gonna, not gonna watch me burn Cause baby, I got you, 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 you Okay, so this is how it's looking so far. I'm so in love with it, you guys. So right here, I'm just gonna finish up the bottom part. I already cut them out, so I'm just gonna paste them. Show them, show them that love is pure, no matter who it's for, 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 for. It's a new 
right here was a bit challenging as well you guys because I was trying to find the right um, hexagon shape to place it and it was so difficult i'm like why this have to be so difficult especially the last one the last one always be the most difficult but i had to cut another um tile in order for it to fit so that's what i did Okay, you guys, so this is how it's currently looking. So the last step is for me to put the socket cover back over the tile. So that is what I'm currently doing right here. Okay, you guys, so this is how it came out. I'm so in love with it. Honestly, I'm so surprised how real it look. It is good quality. Um, it was easy to install. And as you guys can see, it looks so real. I just love it. So right here, this is a LED um, light where you can put all under your cupboards. And I'm going to leave the link in the description box I have these um, lights for like over two years they are very durable so I'm gonna leave them down in the description box below um, so what I'm going to do now I'm just gonna you know decorate the countertop I'm just gonna add a little plant right there and then another one on the side and as i said you guys let me know what you guys think in the description box if you guys love the transformation if this backsplash tile make a difference to me it definitely make a difference i'm so in love with it and it's so welcoming and whenever you cook it can easily be wiped off because as i said it's water resistant and it's also heat resistant um, you can click on the link down below and you guys can get 10 percent off which discount code is TR10. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.